Sandy Butterfield has two passions, sailing and wind turbines, and it's no coincidence that both of them are wind-powered. Butterfield is a founder of Boulder Wind Power, a company that makes wind turbines more efficient and more durable, and Butterfield is one of many in the industry who thinks Congress should not let the wind power production tax credit expire on New Year's Day. We've had a, uh, a reasonably good run. We're right at the crest of being competitive with fossil fuels, and yet we're ready to turn the switch off. And if it gets turned off in January, it'll kill the industry. You know, it's Congress's inability to work across party lines and get and get together and figure out a comprehensive energy policy for the United States. Tracy Bentley of the Colorado Energy Office says it's a game of political poker with the fate of 6,000 wind energy jobs in the state at risk. Absolutely. 99% of Colorado's entire delegation, both Democrats and Republicans, are publicly on record saying we must extend the production tax credit. Early in the morning of April 15th, XL Energy's Poniquin Wind Farm set a record, providing 57% of the power for Colorado customers. While normally not that high, Colorado does boast one of the highest percentages in the nation. We're going to have about 20% of our wind. Uh, or 20 percent of our energy, rather, uh, delivered through wind resources this year in Colorado. That's twice as much as XL Energy used two years ago. We checked and Colorado's wind farms produce enough electricity to power half a million homes every day. You know, it's not a mom and pop garage shop kind of industry anymore. There are 16 wind manufacturing companies in the state with two more slated to come online in 2013. The one thing we all agree on is that if we kill it in January, that would be that would be a disaster. Uh, certainly, a full extension, at least for two years, uh, I think is is absolutely necessary. Russell Haythorn, Seven News.